Everyone, what is up? Today we're going to go through how to add a login and sign up flow to our application. Uh, we did Redux first because one of the main things we're going to use Redux for as our global state is to store a user's username, uh, user ID, and their photo because we're going to be using it all over the place. You're going to use it when you post a photo, you're going to be using it when you like a photo, when you comment, when you message, uh, when you go to your profile. And everything's going to be attached to that user ID because that's unique to you. So your whole feed is going to be based off of that as well. And so that's something that we clearly want to store globally and we want to have access to every single component. Um, but first we're going to go through adding the login page because right now when we go to our application, uh, we reload it, it comes right to the home page. So there's no uh, login, there's nothing to verify that a user is actually logged in. So we're going to add two new screens, a login screen and a sign up screen, and we're going to use another navigator. So React Navigation has a couple different features. We're using the tab navigator. So we are using create bottom tab navigator right now to create this bottom part. Um, and they also have another navigator which allows you to go back and forth uh, at the top of the screen. So that back button that has that transition between pages. And then there's another one called switch navigator, which is really meant for authentication. So when you're in the login or the sign up page, and you go to the home page, you don't want to be able to go back to that login and sign up page unless you're signing out or you're not logged in. Um, the main page after you log in should be this home page after you go through the authentication flow. So Stack Navigator kind of is the very basic bare bones of the navigation. There's no back, there's no styling, there's no bottom tab, there's just, it's either this route or this route and that's between this home route if you're logged in, and if not, then the login route. And so the first thing we're going to do is create another file in this navigation folder, and we're going to call it switch navigator. I like naming it whatever navigator we're using just to make it clear. And to make this quicker, we're just going to copy and paste this because it's going to be basically the same um, the same layout, but with different screens. So let's just remove all these screens for now, and we'll keep the home for reference. So instead of using this create bottom tab navigator, we're going to replace this with create switch navigator. And where I'm getting this from is, sorry, lowercase c. Where I'm getting this from is just the, nav the uh, documentation in React Navigation. And I've done it already, so I kind of know what it is, but just for your reference. So we do switch, create switch navigator, there we go. So yeah, that's the right one. And remember version two versus version three, we need to do this create app container now. So I would make sure if you're on an older version of Expo or React Native, um, or sorry, yeah, older version of React Navigation, then you don't need to use this, but for version three and on, you do need, and you can find that out by going to your package JSON and then React Navigation 3.0 higher. So now we're in the switch navigator. We're not gonna have any navigation options. It's gonna be very, very basic. And now we need to create two new screens called login and sign up. So we also have to do that in our screens folder as well. Save login.js and then sign up. And we're just going to copy and paste some of this stuff real quick. So we'll log in. It's just so it, this default code will actually show um, just the word login so that we know it's working instead of failing because there's no uh, class that we're creating. And sign up. 
And now we're going to reference them in here. So we're going to log in. Oh, sorry, actually, in the switch navigator, we're going to have two different routes. We're going to have the authenticating, authentication route, which is a separate navigator, and then the tab navigator, which is our home navigator. So mix it up just a little bit. Um, we still need these files login and sign up, but instead of importing it in here, we're going to import tab navigator. which is in the same folder. And this is actually going to be our home route. And then our auth route. So you could actually have a navigator as your screen. And we're going to do auth navigator. So this doesn't need that. And this is what we need to create as well, this auth navigator. And let's just import it. It's not there yet, but we're going to create it. So this switch navigator is basically just having, like I said, there's no back button. There's no features to it. It's just we're checking whether the user is logged in or not. If they're logged in, then we're going to go to this tab navigator, which is just our home screen with all the tabs at the bottom. If they're not logged in, then we're going to create another navigator, which you could just put in login screen if we really wanted to but we're gonna have more than one screen. So we wanna create another navigator that we're gonna pass into this so we can switch between the login screen and the sign up screen. So if someone doesn't have an account yet, we want them to be able to sign up. We don't wanna just have them all on one screen. So we're gonna create another navigator to differentiate those two. And let's rename this to switch navigator. So we're actually going to copy and paste this again. And we're going to hit another file called auth navigator. And then in here, we're going to create the login and sign up. So we're not going to do a switch navigator in here. We're going to do a stack navigator. So I know this is a lot of navigator talk. Um, might be a little confusing. But remember the tab navigator we already have, this is just the tab feature. The switch navigator is just, it's basically meant for authentication. If someone logs in, you don't want to be able to have to go back. If you're on the home page, you don't want to go back to the login page. You want that home page to be it. Um, so that allows you to switch between switch navigator, switch. Um, and then stack navigator gives you that functionality of going back to a different page and having that transition for it. So for example, we go to the sell that app and we go to messages, you can see that transition back and forth. And then Stack Navigator also gives us the ability to customize our top tab navigator. So this up here, this little camera icon, this little send icon, that's configured in a Stack Navigator. And the Stack Navigator is where we get this transition, which just looks a little bit more professional. And so that's what we're going to add with this next stack navigator. Actually, I can show you exactly what we're doing. So right now we're on the login page and we have sign up and you have that transition, but we're able to go back to login. So you want to be able to switch between these pages and that's the navigator we're going to create right now. Let's go back to our project. So switch navigator is good to go, and now we need to configure off navigator. So here we're going to import our login from slash screens slash login dot js. Navigator, and we're going to name this to Stack Navigator. 
Now, what are the chances this works on the first try? Slim to none. So we're going to remove these icons. We don't need them anymore. We're not using them here either. I like to just remove a lot of things we're not using so it's pretty clear what this file is doing. So the app is still working. That's a good thing. Uh, but we don't have the screen, the login screen showing yet. And the way we have to do that is in the Stack Navigator, we have the option to create an initial route. And I believe so now I have to look at some uh, my other code. Oh, initial route name. That was close. Oh, okay. So we created our initial route name, but we still have to change out. So when we have our app.js, this is the first file that's being loaded, and it still only sees the tab navigator. So we're not even loading in any other navigator yet, but we want to switch that to switch navigator, and then this to switch navigator. So we're importing it, and let's see, what do we have wrong? Unexpected token in switch navigator, and that is Oh, it goes one level deeper, so that is the outermost. Okay, so this actually goes one more level deeper, and then that goes right there. So now, there we go. We have our initial route of login. And you can see that if we change this initial route to home, it'll go to home. So this, what's, this is what it'll allow us to go uh, from home to login screen without the ability to go back and forth because you don't want to be able to go back and forth unless you're, like I said, unless you're signing out. So right now we just have born on logging screen and in the next couple episodes we're going to actually add some text fields to this so that someone can put in their uh, email and password to log in and then also add some more fields to the sign up screen so that if you don't have an account we can create an account and then eventually hook that up with Firebase and Firebase authentication. So I hope you join me for the next couple episodes. See ya.